What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the big tech censorship is too much at this point. It's already been too much and now it's really too much. Okay. So if you're not aware, uh, yesterday, I believe or the day before this, uh, this woman here in the video, uh, on this side and all the other doctors around her went out in front in Washington and they spoke to the public and they're doctors and they wanted to share their experience with treating COVID. They're not doctors who, you know, haven't been for 30 years, but they've held high positions and people just deem them credible. They're people who are actually dealing with patients on a day-to-day -day basis. And what did they say? They mentioned that, and you guys, I'll put this link for you guys to watch if it's not removed by the time you go to watch it, like other links are, which is sad, that they said that they're treating patients with a combination of hydroxychloroquine, azithromycin, and zinc. This is something I've talked about for a while. And I've seen people talking about it for months. And it makes you wonder, why do people keep trying to hide this? Why would they be doing that? Well, maybe the people who are doing this don't have the same intentions that you do, uh, which is, and, and that I do, which is just that I want to see people be healthy and I want to see life get back going again for most people. And I don't want to see people die. So this is really, this is they, they, they've crossed the line. I'm going to explain a couple ways how they've done this. So they did this video. This is a super powerful video. If you guys haven't watched it, right? This woman's treated hundreds of people with that exact remedy and nobody's died going through her clinic yet. So, and this has been, I think a, it's, it's been a, a dog chasing its tail for, for a long time, right? Because there's been so much information that's come out on this that is credible. There's been hundreds and hundreds, there's been thousands and thousands of patients who have taken this as a recommendation from their doctor because there's been large scale studies that have studied this and then you still see dog shit come out that tries to discredit it and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't mean that this is a one size fits all remedy for people, but to continue to hide this as if it if, as if it's not going to help anybody is insane to me while at the same time you're supposed to believe that we're supposed to absolutely just streamline and rush a vaccine take that and it's going to be all good i mean the same people are telling us that if you have covid you could still get it again right so what what difference i mean i'm not saying don't take a vaccine but what's the difference of a vaccine then a vaccine is you getting a little bit of it your body overcoming it so they're saying that if you they inject you with a little bit your body will overcome it and then you'll be good to go and you won't get it again. But if you naturally got it, naturally fought it and went over it, then the next time that then, then you're still prone, you could probably get it again. There's so much logic here that just isn't making sense and it's not cool. And a lot of these platforms, what they're doing is they're pulling this stuff off because they're saying, Hey, you know, it, well, the way that they're reporting is like, you know, we don't want people to get misleading information. We don't want them to take medicine that isn't what they want or, or isn't going to help them. And it's like, okay, well, these are doctors, right? So you run a social networking platform. This isn't your job, right? So unless you have doctors there at Facebook, at Twitter, at YouTube, who are smarter than these people, who have been in on the front lines actually helping these people, you have no right to be able to pull this content down. And beyond that, um, you look at this, right? So like Donald Trump Jr. posted the, the same video, and what do they do? They temporarily suspended his account, right? So you can be wrong about things. I mean, you have people at the highest level in CDC, WHO, Fauci, all these people globally who've been wrong about things several steps of the way. Wear a mask, don't wear a mask, uh, asymptomatic can spread. Actually, it doesn't. It sticks the surfaces along. Actually, it doesn't. All these things are fine to be misleading because it's leading towards the same agenda, which is that you need to have this one opinion, which is stay home unless you want to go out and protest. That's the only way you can go out of your house. Uh, if not, you're just irresponsible and you want to kill old people. And realistically, why don't they want people to use this medicine or a combination of these medicines? It's because they've been out in the public sector for a very long time. Things like hydroxychloroquine and some of the other things, azithromycin and zinc. Azithromycin I've taken before. Um, and it, these things are not, they, they, they aren't, the market's not cornered on them, right? So they're not $50 a pill, $100 a pill, right? These things are 30 cents, 50 cents a pill. So what, if you're in the game of selling people overpriced treatment, then you would be in the game of opposing people getting treatment that is fairly priced or very low priced. And this is really where the crux of it all is. is you have these people pretending to be people who care about you, who care about me, but really they care about their own personal interests and money that they're going to be making through some of these vehicles, or they're just getting bad information. And they're actively censoring doctors, removing content of them. This was a live stream that had over 17 million views on it on Facebook. And they remove the video, right? So you're not allowed to watch it. Facebook deemed that your brain as an adult and your eyes are not allowed to consume this content because it's dangerous, even though doctors are giving it. And these people say, well, listen to the experts. Okay, experts don't always agree, right? So if you have experts saying that hydroxychloroquine doesn't work and the co in, in combination with zinc and, uh, and azithromycin, 
let's look at why it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? And if so, and if there's data and evidence as to why it doesn't work, great. But if there's people who are also experts, doctors, who have data that it does work, let their content breathe. And if, and if you think that they're wrong, compare that information with the other information and let's figure it out. Having less conversation never helps, and especially putting a muzzle on it. I mean, they, they just suspended the, the, the son of the president for sharing uh, doctors in a congressman's live stream, right? So what is going on here, right? I hope that this video um, it, it wakes up some people. Hopefully, most of you guys already know about this kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to be talking more about the, the you know this vein of things as well as crypto I mean crypto is going you know bananas as well at the same time right now but I wanted this video needed to be about this um, I'll put the link below for you guys to check out the video if you haven't seen it hopefully it's not gone by the time you you watch it like the video subscribe to the channel um, and I'll, there'll be more information coming out on this soon thank you guys